What's going on everyone? Ethan Dobbins, CEO of the Dialed In Factory, and I see you are right now punching in your time card for today, which I love to see. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to dial in your website using the best converting theme right now, Shrine, and tell you all of the most important elements of your website that you need to focus on to make sure people buy from your website without having a hesitation versus what elements are a bit overrated and really shouldn't demand that much of your time and focus, like your product page design. Now, for instance, I've been dropping for over six years and this website I'm about to show you is the highest converting website I have ever seen in my time, which is this one right here, Vortex. And when you look at it, it is not that impressive. It's one of the worst product page designs you are ever gonna see. It's so bland, it's so basic. They didn't even spell the word never right, but they are printing money. This website is actually doing over $90,000 per day. That is more than most e-commerce brands will ever hit, and it's converting and making $9 per visitor. Now, if you have no frame of reference, the average e-commerce store makes about $1 per visitor on their site, meaning if I get 100 visitors, I make $100 back. This store for every 100 visitors makes $900 back, which is unheard of in the dropshipping space. Usually the most elite brands make around $3 per visitor. So if you're above $1, $1.50, you are crushing, but this website is a true testament to the fact that your product page design does does not matter and there are way more important elements that we're going to focus on in this video that actually do. Now before Chef Ethan starts cooking and giving you the absolute sauce with building my own product page using Shrine, I really want you guys to challenge yourself and not just copy and paste what I build in this video because you're not going to learn anything through just copying and pasting and just regurgitating what I'm doing. The only way you are going to succeed in dropshipping and doing any of the skills that are important is understanding why someone does the things that they do and understanding the deeper philosophy and the real meaning behind okay if he builds his product page like this why is he doing it instead of okay he built it like this therefore i'm going to copy i'm not going to think for myself i'm going to be a mindless drone clone in the star wars troops so here are the seven most important things you need to have in your product page to scale to 10 grand days number one is an irresistible offer so you need to try bogo volume discount different offer structures to see what resonates with your audience the most instead of just the generic 50 percent off offer then have social proof not just at the bottom of your product page but at the top with collages with testimonials video testimonials highlighter reviews to show that your product really does work and does what it can do then you should have an optimized above the fold so the top of your product page should have all the key information about your product so that someone can buy just by looking at that top section of your page then you need to have descriptions with bullet point driven benefits that really show the use cases and us piece of your product then you need to handle all objections that your target audience has by having a good faq and good testimonials that also proactively handle objections then you need to have urgency and trust on your website as well urgency can be low stock or sale ending soon and trust comes from having different logos of magazines or having a great money back guarantee like 30 day 90 day just so you have that risk reversal in the mind of your customer that is really it but now we need to get that pattern recognition and study what the top brands are doing that are executing these different elements at the highest level possible so that we can use that for our own websites to get inspired because you don't want to just look at what other dropshippers are doing because they're kind of bottom of the barrel i'm not gonna lie it's like studying a high school level football player instead of patrick mahomes or the best in the game so let's study the best so first off for problem solving products we have the avocado udi obviously we know udi david fogarty legend he's done well over 100 million dollars in sales with this product page right here so the key elements i would notice is they have a really good description template of having headline and then two to three sentences here accompanied with either a photo or a gif so i really like how they do their description layout it's a very simple product page good reviews with testimonial images they have an accordion menu with all the key information they have this little save $40 badge that I'm sure they've split tested that looks really good for demonstrating the value of this sale that's going on and they have some urgency this offer is limited now while this video is going to give you a great blueprint for how to build your product page if you really do want to shortcut the learning curve and scale your dropshipping brand to one grand a day in the next 90 days then I would recommend working with a one-on-one -on -one coach who can actually review your website and making sure that you do everything from this video the correct way because a lot of people will take this information try it out for themselves and they think they're doing it the right way, but actually you're still making mistakes, which is only natural. And that is why I opened up two new spots for my private one-on-one -on -one coaching, where my team and I will look at your product selection and make sure you choose the right products instead of the wrong ones so you don't waste time and money. Look at your website and tell you how you can improve upon it to make it faster, more optimized, and make more money from every single customer. And finally, we're gonna teach you the secret sauce for how we create winning ads for every single product that we test. So if you wanna learn how to really shortcut the learning curve and get the skills you need to finally make 
make money in the dropshipping game instead of trying to figure it all out on your own which is nearly impossible then i would book a call down below with my team and we'll see if we're the right fit to help you scale now this might be the best above the fold section i've ever seen for an e-commerce product and it's with sand and sky i mean three thousand five star reviews our cult favorite 1.5 million units sold so they have tons of social proof immediately their product images are all consistent it has the right color scheme they have bullet point benefits here more bullet point benefits over here but basically the best above the fold sections give you all the information and key insights you need about the product without you having to scroll down any further and that is exactly what they do and they also give you a layer of social proof and if we scroll down i'm sure they have things about guarantees shipping and return so they have all the key information right at the top which is what you want to model now shout out to my man oliver bricado because his product page probably has the best social proof i've ever seen out of any e-commerce brand and as you can see right here 30 day satisfaction guarantee daves all these trust badges to immediately show you why again you should trust their brand and then we go down here over 200,000 delighted customers you have featured in these magazines you have all these different benefits social proof here scrolling on down you have more social proof and you have more trust badges to trust the brand and i mean video testimonials highlighted reviews 200,000 happy customers a review section they don't just settle with here's a review section where you can scroll down and only maybe 10 percent of our customers will see it they have social proof everywhere and it really communicates a layer of trust and that hey you are going to love this product because so many other people are also loving it. It's that bandwagon effect. So I got to give my man Oliver some credit here. I mean, this is really dialed in. Great bundle option. I know that doesn't sound anything like him. I, you know, that might be a trend in this video where I just do impressions of different drop shippers throughout the video. So now let's look at some clothing brand inspiration because that's a completely different product page. So now we have culture kings they've done well over 100 million in sales and as you see right here with clothing it's very simple honestly you just need good images you need a short description one to two points but really you want to capture the key details of the product which is size chart guarantees reviews and then yes just good images the images will sell these products the real differentiator the usp behind clothing is just the design itself so either people like the design or they don't but obviously yes there are certain clothing products that do solve problems that's usually shapewear-esque so if you have that type of product then yes it's gonna be slightly a hybrid of both problem solver and non-problem solver but for traditional okay this is just a cool clothing item and that is it it's gonna sell itself with having the best possible images so that's where oh my jesus good googly moogly hawooga i was not expecting to be turned on this early in the video but Fashion Nova is a great example. Obviously, they're killing it. One of the best dropshipping brands ever. And now they are a legitimate brand, obviously. But they have quick description, bullet point benefits. They have, okay, here's a return policy. Here's when you're going to get the product. Here are great product images. And of course, tons and tons of social proof from other people verifying and telling you that, yes, this is a great product as well. And last thing I would note is definitely have a really good bundle deal going on here of completing the set, upgrading that order. So obviously, Fashion Nova, they thrive on having great AOVs. People are not just buying one product when they go to Fashion Nova. They're always going to buy two, three, five, 30 different things. If you're my ex-girlfriend and you have my credit card and you think I'm just an infinite money printer because this dropshipping money apparently just never runs out and I'm not a crippling credit card debt because of my ex. Well, what? No. And now most likely to the moment you skip to because I ramble and you probably didn't want to listen to me for too long. Yes. Here are the two products that we are going to make product pages for today. So we have our problem solving product, which is a three in one hair straightening brush. Very simple to understand. There's tons of these out there. This one has a specific design that I wanted to try out. I know very saturated product, but I think we can make it work. And then for for our non-problem solver, we have these Gucci It girl S shoes. I mean, oh my goodness gracious, my girl wore that around me. I'd be sucking on those little piggies all day long. So now the first step after you identified your product and you have your supplier is we need to have a good product name. Now, when it comes to clothing items, I usually, if it's for females, I'm just going to have the name of a female. So like the Anna slippers, the whatever, just like a cool, sexy name. And that would just be what I do there. And you'll notice Fashion Nova, usually when they're naming their products also does something very similar. So I would just stay with that naming convention. But for a problem solving product usually you want to have some sort of branding to it so in chat gbt i just said hey give me 20 unique brandable names for a three-in-one heating hairbrush so they came up with these names which are decent we may go with one of those but then i took a lot of the keywords that they were using like cozy wave all of that and then i plugged it into namelix and usually namelix is what comes up with the best names for me so we have soft sleek ceramic curl i like that but i don't know if this is really a curl product so maybe we use the word sleek Lux, sleek Lux. Oh, I do like that. Honestly, I'm probably just going to do a combination here. So we are going to go with Vibra Lux. I just like the word Lux. It really, in my opinion, increases the perceived value, even though it's just a word. And hey, that's marketing for you. So three in one rotating electric hair brush. We're probably going to definitely shorten that down a little bit. So let's get rid of everything else over here. Still, we'll probably shorten it up, but that's going to be our initial one. And I'm probably going to put a trademark or an R or something there that just makes it look a little bit more sophisticated. And then again, for the slippers, 
just going to choose a girl's name. Now we are going to be importing these products using the sponsor of today's video, which is AutoDS, the all-in-one dropshipping platform for sourcing, importing, and fulfilling all of your dropshipping orders at the click of a button. Now AutoDS has a library of millions of different products that you can easily source and get one to five day shipping to most countries across the world, which is incredibly useful for actually building a brand. Now on top of building a brand, you can actually brand products directly with their platform. So you can add your own logo to packaging or product so you can scale your dropshipping brand and obviously start to scale and sell it one day because you've transitioned from the dropshipping brand to a legitimate e-commerce operation using AutoDS's all-in-one tools. They also have a marketplace of winning products that they've compiled after working with thousands of different dropshippers. So you can see what's currently selling today and of course add that to your dropshipping store. And the final great feature they have is they have a new pre-built AI feature that allows you to create a brand new pre-built dropshipping store in the click of a few buttons. So if you want to try out AutoDS completely free for your first 30 days, all you have to do is click the link down below and sign up using my link. So now it's time for the most important part of the video and that is coming up with an irresistible offer, which if you don't have a great offer, it doesn't matter how much effort you put into your social proof, your urgency, your private page design, it really will not make the difference if your offer sucks. So for our first product, we have the three in one rotating electric hair straightener brush, hair, a million different keywords to describe hair brush. And it costs us about $22. So we need to figure out, at least for me, my golden rule is I need to have a 65% profit margin with every offer that I test. So if I was to sell this product for 55, I'm at about a 60%, which is not where we need to be. But we can't force a margin. We don't just price a product based on, okay, we need to hit 65%, therefore, okay, let's sell it for 64 and we do that. No, we have to see what is a fair market value for this product. So I would go into Amazon, I would look up other brands, and I would see what are they charging for similar types of products. So on Amazon, usually it's gonna be cheaper brands and cheaper products, but we can see some 49s in here, we can see some 20. I'm seeing a lot of in the 40 ballpark. So 55, 64 might be a bit of a stretch, but when I did some more research on actual brands that have scaled, usually they're in the hundreds of dollar price range. Like this one is $119. I believe the most popular one, the Dyson goes for a couple hundred dollars as well. So we would be well within our rights to sell this product for 60 to $70 just as a straight up offer. Now, if you do want access to this KPI calculator so you can automatically come up with the right offer that you need to have, then you can comment down below saying that I'm right now begging on my knees in the middle of Walmart to get this KPI calculator, or you can get it immediately for free if you join my bold econ program which is $50 a month but it comes with all of these strategies resources that I use every single day to scale my dropshipping brands to 50 grand a month plus and it also has access to the top product research tools PP ads Manea all those tools that will cost you over $500 a month if you use them without signing up for the bold econ program but you can get access to all of these tools and more by joining down below oh and I also forgot to mention it comes with a weekly group call with yours truly and a step-by-step -step course that will guide you exactly on how to get your dropshipping store off the ground running and making your first sales so so let's get into the other product we have here. So the slippers. Now this is where we can get a little bit more creative because it is a cheaper product. So this is where I would definitely consider doing the BOGO style offers volume discount. Now we know right now if we were going to sell this product as a BOGO, it's going to cost us about $8 product cost, $10 shipping. So $18. I think that would be a really interesting first offer of doing a BOGO deal so people can choose to have the black and white version or also the tan. So they can choose to have multiple versions, which I really do like for this product. So let's say for instance, our COGS are $18 and we have a BOGO deal at 39. So not exactly where we wanna be, but so let's try out instead 49 for this BOGO. And that is much closer. I think if we definitely just charge for shipping an extra few bucks or have some sort of guarantee that they have to have, we could definitely get that up to the 52, 53 mark that we need to be hitting. So I would say, First offer is going to be a BOGO at 49. Now for buying one, it's going to cost us about $11 in COGS. So we're realistically going to need to pay around $35, $36. So yeah, I would say that's pretty reasonable. So we could definitely do the BOGO offer at 49 versus a volume discount where if you buy one, it costs around $34.99. But as you buy more and more and more, you save a little bit of money. So we're going to do volume discount versus the BOGO offer and see which one does better. So let's actually set that up so you actually know how to do that. So this is Bundle Bear right here and we are going to select our product. So we're going to go right into it. And first off, we are going to do our Stella Chic Women's Fashion Slipper. So we're just going to have to upgrade the price. I didn't actually get into the price uh, right now, but basically what we want to do is a free gift. So we're going to make this second product free, just like that. And we're going to click on save. Then we need to go to our actual product section. So let's open up our Stella here. And we're going to have to make the first price for this $49.99. And the compare it's probably going to be around $69.99, somewhere around there. So let's just do $49.99. And then we're going to drag this bad boy all the way down like that, make it nice and simple. And then we're going to need to upgrade our columns. 
Same thing, and of course, we're gonna do the best number in the history of mankind, especially if you are a virgin that has no social skills and is chronically addicted to brain rot TikTok online and you're edge maxing and looks maxing at the moment. $69.99 is gonna be our compare at price. Now, I'm also gonna have to make a duplicate of this product where we're just gonna move over all the images, barcodes, inventory, all that stuff. We're gonna set this as active, and this is going to be the version that we are doing the other price point of $34.99. So we're just gonna do the same thing, bulk edit, make it $34.99. I think you guys get the gist, but once we end up doing that, then the next step would be we have to go to our app ka and then set up a volume discount. So not for all products, we're gonna do a select product here, which would be the copy that we just made. So let's see if we can find that real quick. There she is, nice and pretty. And then for layout, we'll do, yeah, something like this. And then we'll do probably, usually the best offer in the beginning is like 15% then 20% like that. And then we'll just customize this to make sure it fits with our brand color scheme, which for this product page, yeah, I feel like we're gonna do black and white. So we'll just keep it as is for now. So other settings we're gonna do is use product compare at price. I'm not going to skip the cart page. You can definitely go for it if you want, especially if you're testing multiple products because on the cart page, usually you're supposed to be upselling certain products if you have that winning product. So the complimentary product to it, but we don't have a winner yet. So you can go for opting in to skip the cart. I personally do like to go to that cart page. So I have my other upsells, which is usually a warranty or fast in line shipping, like skip the line shipping, those little upsells that again, will increase our AOV as we talked about earlier to get it to where it needs to be. Now, everything else, standard price, single duo trio. When it comes to naming, we could just do buy one, buy two, buy three and save. That's usually what most people do. We can actually look at what Bleem does because usually they're pretty much the golden standard when it comes to the Ching volume discount app. So let's just see real quick what they got cooking up in the office. So they do one pack, two pack, and then they have this little label of free shipping. That could be interesting actually, where yeah, they have to buy two to get free shipping. So we could have a little shipping threshold, which honestly, I think we should do. I'm gonna customize the block title here and do bundle deal ends at midnight. So we have some layer of urgency and then scrolling on down. I don't actually like to have this as a subtitle. I usually like to have this more as a label like that. I think it just looks bit more professional. And then for duo, I'm just going to do buy two and then you have, you say 15%. And then for this one, I'm going to do buy three, move over the subtitle down to the badge text. Ooh, do we want it as badge text or we want it here? Tough call, tough call. Kind of want to have it on both. It actually looks really sexy. I can't lie. I'm going to darken up the text on the you save a little bit more, but honestly, looks pretty good. Can't lie. So all we'd have to do now is just obviously change that price back from $49.99 to the $34. And we are going to be good to go on our offers. But again, most important part was getting that nailed down before everything else. Talk about a continuity error. I mean, Ethan, you're already upgrading the drip and the hair. What can I say? I'm a man of many surprises. If you blink, you might just miss the next surprise. So let's get back into Kaching. I want to do one final thing, and that's making the selected background our beige color code. So that way it does stand out a little bit more. So I really like that. We're going to click on save. Good to go. Now we do need to go over to Bundle Bear as well. And I do want to play around a bit with the design because I will admit the basic design's kind of, again, not really matching with our color scheme. The grab this deal is a little aggressive for me. So what we can do here is go to the design section. And for button color, same thing. I want to make this the beige that we have going on. Just to make sure it all is coherent instead of grab this deal i'm just going to do shop now and then i am going to turn on variant label because for the shoe we are going to need those labels it's going to look a little weird if they just see the number five or six without really any context so we're going to have that all right clicking say bottom right good to go and then finally we're going to do up cart so we do need to customize it just a tad to make sure we don't have any weird upsells going on so if you don't know how to use this, I do have a full tutorial on how I like to customize it. But as you can see right here, you can just copy my settings because I know you are all mindless zombies who can't think for yourself anyways. So if we go down here, so upsells would be where we would do another product. But since we don't have a hero product, I'm gonna leave that off for now. I do believe the only upsell we should really have is yeah, the priority processing. And this is a product that you can actually make in your Shopify. And then it just in the description section, you add skip the line, currently blank amount of people are ahead of yours. So if you go to the add-on section, click shipping protection, bada bing, bada boom, you are good to go. And that's gonna be something that helps us a lot with boosting our AOV, especially on those Stella slippers where we're gonna need it. And then over here for payment gateways, here are the three main ones I do. So yeah, pretty simple. That's all we're gonna need on that side. And then the final thing I really wanna do is customize the shipping option before we get into the design. And I know 
I can hear you groaning. I mean, geez, Louise, Ethan, when are you going to get to the good stuff, the meat and potatoes? Guys, all this stuff is important at the end of the day. So pay attention. Now, right here, we do have three different shipping options. These are the default ones I love to do. Now, if you notice on the right, I do have a condition set up. And the reason why I do have this is so that if, let's say, someone only buys one of that Stella slipper, then they have to be paying for shipping in my eyes for us to really match that AOV. So to create a new rate, you just go into this section and obviously make sure in the rate you have your main countries already in it so for me these would be the big four those are the only ones i really advertise to and i'm just going to copy over this text right here so we're going to have it appear twice so if we click add rates move that priority insured shipping and usually you want to make this about 10 to 20 percent of your product price so 399 seems pretty standard again though it depends on the offer you're doing so let's say you have to get to a 45 dollar aov and you're charging 39 then obviously you should charge six dollars for shipping and that all plays its part into getting to that aov that you want and then finally we're going to need a condition so based on the order price so in this case I believe we're charging $34. So basically any order that's between 35 and 33, they would only see this shipping option. Ladies with gentle hands, it is time for the moment you've all been waiting for. And no editor, it is not playing pony and think I'm gonna strip right in front of you guys. You gotta pay extra for that. But it is getting into Shrine and starting to design. So how do you actually make templates for each product? So first off, if you go here to the product section, then you need to create a new template. Now I have multiple templates going on and that's the beauty of Shrine. Once you build one template out, you can copy and paste it to other products by clicking create template. And then you would choose whatever template you've already done in the past. So it saves a lot of time. But for now, we're just going to work on the assumption we don't have a template done. So we are going to create one for both products. So I already have one done for the Stella and then we're going to need one for our Vibra Luke's Lux, whatever you want to say. And then in the Shopify product section, we're going to assign our theme template to our product. And I will say we are ready to start cooking. So I do like to get a little bit of inspo beforehand just so I can see what I'm competing against or what the big brands are doing. And maybe we take a few lines from the description, a few of the trust badges. I mean, there's a lot of really good brands out here that we can model, but I want to have one rival that we established that we have to beat these guys. And this is right now the top seller of the three-in-one rotating voluminous air styler and blow dryer. I mean, look at it. It's disgusting. It makes you want to barf. They're called Wow Room, but for today's video, they're going to be only referred to as Dinkleberg. This is the cringiest video I think I've ever made, but you know what? It's going to be good. Alrighty, Artis, it is time to start painting our canvas. That sounds more Italian than French, but Mademoiselle Stella, you're about to look absolutely gorgeous. So with our announcement banner, this is the one that is default to Shrine. I personally am not the biggest fan of this one. I, there are certain sections that I do buy using the section store on Shopify. So if you go over here, section store, here are all of the sections I have bought that I really do like. So you can take a look, take a picture, do whatever you want to do except for edging to them. Now, if we go down, we want to go to our header section right here on the theme template, and we are going to add our custom banner. So for me personally, this is what would show up if it's the default one, but we want to add a new section here and we want to go show more, go down. And then I have two that I have played around with. I like the scrolling announcement bar though a lot. And then when you click on save, it should just naturally move down. So we're going to wait for that to happen. And there she is. All right. So let's start customizing this text a little bit. So free shipping, I'm going to change to load by a certain amount of customers. Then we can do yes, free returns. I do like that. And then finally want to have some urgency text as well. So sale ends at midnight or today only. So it has all three of the key points I really want to get across. And then when it comes to the speed, I usually like to slow it down a bit. It can be a little fast so i might do something like 100 120 again play around see what you're feeling and then for the background color i will admit i don't know if it's perfectly matching the black it definitely is not so i'm going to grab our color code real quick we're going to copy that and then change the background color over to this slightly lighter shade of black i know ocd Awesome, that is looking really good. So now let's get into our above the fold here with the urgency text. Now for me personally, I like limited supply, high demand a lot. I think that looks really solid. For the product title, we could make this smaller. I'm just gonna honestly make it less word so it takes up less space. So let's go back to our product section here. So instead of Copia, we're gonna get rid of that. Stella, don't think we need the fashion slipper. We'll just go with women's slipper. Click on save and that is looking nice and neat. I love the word neat. It sounds a lot like my alter ego. Anita Maxween. Okay, yeah, I know. You probably clicked off this video because of the cringe by now. I, I would be shocked. This is like torture. I know, Quatana Bube. But we're going to get rid of the emoji benefits here on the side. And then finally, I want to add our bundle app. So we're going to move this, let's say, right above the buy button. That's typically where you want to be. And that should replace our variant options. It might take a second to load. Oh my God, this description is enormous. Um, but from there, we're going to get rid of our variant picker. We are going to add another block. And this is going to be... 
in this time not the prog review section but our star rating so we're gonna move that star rating usually right below or above the title either or works so yeah i think that's gonna work and then typically i want to maybe play around with padding a little bit because yeah these paddings are a lot so 15 you can either do 9 or 12 typically for most sections i just want to make it nice and condensed so it's not taking up too much space same thing over here and do we need anything else on the above the fold section i mean we're gonna have the bundle show up when it comes to this buy button honestly we're not going to need it we'll see now before we start customizing a little bit more i do need to clean up this description because it has so many images and for me i do like to have a description for these types of products it's just usually gonna be something really short one or two sentences and then a size chart now after that in terms of the media we do have a lot of images that are in the square aspect ratio which is perfectly fine usually it's the best for most products i find though for clothing since images do all of the selling it's all about the visuals I may want to go with more vertical style images so people can really go through those. So I went through, found some more suppliers for our product here, and there are a few that do have some vertical images. So I want to play around like these ones right here, I think are really, really good. So I have a tool called Ali save that can save all the images from AliExpress. So I'm going to start saving these, adding them over, and I want to compare and see which one I feel like works better. Okay. So this is what it would look like on desktop, not too shabby. It looks a little bit better. I think with the square images on desktop, but mobile is going to be the main place we're advertising. So that's going to be the real decider here. And I can't lie. Those look really, really sexy vertical compared to the square. Yeah, I'm not feeling it as much. I can't lie. I think we're just going to switch this all to vertical. And this is what the review element is going to look like. So yeah, that looks really nice. I think this is going to look solid. So if you're wondering about this review element, this actually isn't native to LAI. So I did customize it just a tad. So I'm going to show you real quick. So you go over to LAI and then you go over to widgets. Then you can start customizing things a little bit. So usually the native star color is not this yellow. So I just grabbed it over here. This would be the color code. So for rating icon color, I do change it. And then when it comes to the actual text, we're going to have the back back out of that section and then we're going to have to go to another one which i believe is the star rating so if we go to star rating yep star rating colors here and then this was the text that i customized so on this i just grabbed the average rating so this little piece of code right here and then out of five based on total reviews and reviews so that's all i did to customize it and make it look really more professional and also real quick, if you don't see the, your bundle app showing up, a lot of times it's because you haven't turned it on in your theme section. So if you go to app embeds and then make sure the slider's turned on, then it should show up properly if you have it added to your theme. All right, all right, all right. So we are looking nice and tidy here for the above the fold. So we have our add to cart here. I am going to add a dynamic checkout button as well. Now I know it's going to show up in a weird color like red. It doesn't actually show up like this. It's just going to show the Apple Pay, Google Pay, whatever option that someone is scrolling your website can use. But this is looking pretty good. I don't really believe we need to make much other changes. Obviously, like I said, we are going to do the vertical images instead. So that'll change out. We will have some rating stars here once we add them with LAI. But this is really all we need for the above the fold section for most clothing products. All right, let's start working on the Vibra Luke's. Now, same thing. I do want to do my limited supply and then little dash wall type thing there and then high demand. Cool. So now that we got that next step, I do actually want to have a little bit of this sub description here and then maybe the bullet point benefits afterwards because this is going to require some more selling and you have to understand with descriptions it is definitely something where you have to understand the stage of awareness your customer is in so for a product like this this isn't a situation where people don't know that they have a problem they are very well aware of that this isn't a situation where they don't know that there's solutions out there they're also aware of the solutions so we have to convince people that this is the best solution that it is better than all of the alternative products on the market and they are so well aware of all the different solutions that they know oh dyson revlon all the top brands for these types of hairbrushes so i really need to focus on that one key objection why are we better than them so just keep that all in mind when we're actually working on this now the next block i want to add is a little text block here i'm going to drag this on down yeah there we go and i'm going to add some text just like this so this was a quick little description that i added from one of our competitors so this was from a life in so they had this quick little section that i liked so i just decided to customize it a little bit so they had something about traditional dryers and then all this other crap that no one really cares about so i made it a little bit more personalized here by having our Vibralux dries hair faster, more efficiently, so all great benefits than traditional dryers. That's the main thing. While also getting a salon quality hair at home in minutes. So you got the transformation, everything right there, which is great. So now we just need to add some emoji benefits with the variant picker. Again, we're not gonna need this. We're gonna have some sort of bundle app there um, and then get it between all that stuff. It's gonna look good. So using ChatGBT, they had some really good benefits like provide shine, volume, and smooth finish. And I do have a great product description ChatGBT prompt that I always use that definitely gets me started 
started. And sometimes I will use a lot of the lines. So if you want access to that, all you have to do is comment down below that you are begging on your knees in the middle of wall and art, and you will do anything to get this template. Now, if you're already a student of mine, then I'll just link it down below this video and you won't have to do any of that degrading stuff. So going back here to our emoji benefits, let's copy and paste like that. Looking good, looking schmexy. And then we need to, of course, add our Kaching bundle app right here, just like that. We're going to drag it on up right under our emoji benefits. And now, honestly, that's all we need from now. We could add some more social proof because there really isn't much social proof other than the high demand, which is something. But there is a section that I really like that I want to play around with here. And that is going to be adding a new block for, sorry, adding a new section, my mistake. And that is going to be for a quick little product review at the top of the page. Now with this theme, they already do have an option for that. In fact, if you go down here, you don't have to necessarily, you know, buy the section for nine dollars if you're not a big baller like ethan dobbins but if you want to have this you can just do a quick little review block just like that and then you can put in some custom text now this is actually the section i bought but if you want to go let me click save so if we scroll down to the bottom of our abyss of a product description we can see yeah so that's what it's going to look like for free you can have this little text block where you add a customer review and that's totally fine with me i personally do pay a little bit extra because i can add a photo of the customer and i think that does add just a little bit more believability and authenticity to the review. And again, you can add multiple. It looks really, really clean right above that add to cart. So yes, we are going to go with that. So let's grab a quick little review from one of our competitors and we'll just add that as a placeholder for now. So if we go and I will admit, sometimes it does glitch out a little bit. So it actually says my product reviews is here, but it's not. So we're just going to do like that. And typically you want to make this about two sentences max. So yeah, we're going to have to probably just get rid of it will not. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm just going to have to, you know, we'll polish it a little bit later and cut the fat out, but we just need a little placeholder. And then hopefully we can just add a quick little image. So I do have a few different product images here, as you can see, that I gathered for before and afters, just in general for hair frizz products. These aren't actually ones of my specific customers. So again, we're just going to add a quick little placeholder there. And that's what it would look like. Now that gray background. I'm not going to lie, is not sitting well with me. So I do want to just make that more of a neutral, kind of just blend in with our transparent background here. So if we go to the section background itself, let's see. So if we make it white, how would that look? Yeah, we'll probably play around with it a little bit more later, but I just want to have one review at the top, just like that. And I'm going to be honest, guys, this looks really, really good. This is a great above the fold section. The only thing we're now missing at this point is just having some more product images, which yes, we're going to need before and afters because that's going to be the main way we show and convince people that, hey, this product obviously does work. So if we can have gifts of people using the product, we're going to need that. We're going to need before and afters. We're also going to need some good graphics that have our background and just really convince people that this is a legitimate brand because yeah, these graphics right here, probably aren't gonna cut it honestly the last touch i'm just gonna do is add a trust badge to our product images so if you click on here you can see we have trust badge and i do like to do a little as seen in vogue logo so that's easy to get from google images just look it up unless you are already in part of my program which we do have a folder with all logos from top magazines as you can see right here so we got the vogue one so i'm just gonna click done and we're going to make this badge in the top right, probably make it yeah, either medium or large. So that's how it's going to appear. Again, just another layer of social proof here, social proof here, social proof here. We got tons of social proof for days. All right. So now that we got the above the fold section ready to go, it is time to tackle our description. Now, when it comes to the problem solving products, you do need to put in a little extra effort. You have to do your customer research, look at Amazon reviews, look at competitors, see what everyone else is doing. So you can really get into the mind of your customer because with chat GPT, no matter what you really do with your prompts, it's going to be around 75% of the way there. Like a lot of times the problems will be decent, but you're going to need to tighten them up. And I looked at these different sections. Some of them are good. Some of them, I will admit, just aren't hitting the right benefits or the right use cases that I know after reading reviews that really the customers care about. So yes, while it's a good start, you do need to go a step further. Now, when it comes to the non-problem solving products, yeah, I mean, you honestly don't need a whole lot. So I just did a quick little prompt for some headlines, bullet points. I'm really just going to copy and paste this. And then just, again, same thing, play around a little bit. Does it have the right emotion I want? Yes, exuding sophistication. Yeah, a lot of this is really good. So I'm just going to move it on over and we'll play around a little. So this is what I got so far. Indulge in the epitome of style and comfort with Estella slipper. Big thing here, exuding sophistication and make you feel like a celebrity each time you put them on. So that looks really nice. I would say next step. <laughs> All right, so now really the only objections people could have about our slipper, if they like the design, is A, 
is the quality good is it not some crap so that's going to be handled with our social proof our reviews that's the only way you're really going to get people to really buy in because you could say the quality is great but they're not going to believe you and then b what size is perfect for me so i am going to go into canva and they have lots of great templates out here i think we're just going to take this top left one and i'm just going to throw in my logo because right now our size chart is it's kind of a mess. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, who in their right mind would think this is a drop shipping brand if we just copy and paste this one from AliExpress? I mean, this looks pretty legitimate to me, but here we go. Here's the actual Euro China sizes. So it's 35 and I know what you're thinking, Ethan, you are an absolute guru. You are a fake dropshipper. If you don't off the top of your head know the conversion of women's Chinese sizes to American Chinese women foot sizes. I mean, 35, we all know that clearly it's just five in the US. I mean, you guys are really calling me out on my BS today. I can't lie, but I did make this quick little size chart as you can see right here. So we're gonna have the sizes in the American way because that's always the only right way to do it. And then as you can see, we got UK, Europe. So again, handling all objections when we're advertising international so they don't have any confusion there, which is great. Have our logo and this looks pretty customized. I'm not gonna lie. Now it's just about where do we want to place this? Cause we could place this size chart back in our description right here by just adding an image. So if you just click on insert image, you can just add it right here. But typically with most products, they usually will have a tab accordion section. So I will admit natively within Shrine, they don't really have a great accordion menu. So I did buy one real quick. I know Ethan splash in the cash today, but we're going to click add section and you can just compare. You don't need to do this. This is just what I'm going to do. Again, I want you to think for yourself and just do what you think looks nice. So we're going to have this product tab section. So as you can see, so there it is right there. So we got shipping returns, all that. Typically what you're going to do instead is you're going to do one of these is going to be a size chart and that's where we could drop in our image. Actually, this one's kind of a ripoff. It's not letting me add images. I'm sure it's probably a workaround that I could find out that I'll post later on after this video. But for the sake of brevity, we have our description added right here. So this is just what it's going to look like. So let's actually get rid of these nasty looking tabs. We don't need them anymore. And then yes, description section. So how are we looking now? So I would say these payment badges, I really don't like. I don't think it's necessary. People know what payment options you're going to have just by looking. And then I'm currently on the second version of the Stella. And this one has the bundle bear. So we're going to actually have to add bundle bear as well. So let's just do a little freestyle, do a little playing around. So we're just going to bump this up right next to the Kaching one. So that way it appears as well. So we got our description. We got our shipping times. Really at this point, what you want to do is keep it short, simple to the point. We don't need a comparison table. We don't need results headline. We are just going to honestly addition by subtraction here. We just need really a review section some social proof so what i'm going to do add section we are going to go to our apps we're going to add a product review section from lai and that's going to just show up right here faq for some products is necessary i'm going to be honest for this not really um footer section also we should, we're going to have to play around a little later with that but yeah we have a few reviews that i did populate and then honestly up top I would say we don't need a multi-column. We could have something. So in terms of social proof, there's 14 different ways you can show social proof. And we're gonna cover that a little bit later on. But one of them that would I think would be big here is we add a section with logos of trusted brands. And that is a scrolling logo cloud. So again, this is one that you would have to pay for, but it's worth every penny, I swear. Cool beans, so we got those right there. I'm gonna slow it on down a little bit and we're gonna add possibly four to five reviews from different logos. All right, so I did slow it down a little bit to a 55. Again, you can play around with speed. It doesn't have to be exactly what I do. And then going down, we're probably gonna add, yeah, L. We're gonna add Vogue. We're gonna add a few of the big dogs. And again, this is gonna add another great layer of social proof. Now we could add a trust badge also like we did with the other product, but eh, I, I, it depends. All right, cool. So we added five. So we're just gonna get rid of two of those logos like that. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. So finally, I would add one more section with something about returns and all of that. So that's where, again, the product tabs would be great because yes, you could have the size chart description and returns all in one place at the above the fold section, which is really good. But since the tabs one I have right now isn't working great, we're just gonna have to add a rich text like this. And then everything's freaking out and my Wi-Fi is blowing up. Alrighty, so let's get into it. So we don't need a button label here. And then we're just gonna add some placeholder text like 30 day warranty, 90 day money back, whatever you wanna do. And I usually will call this the name of my brand. So Aloma guarantee I can spell I swear I'm not dyslexic and there we go that's honestly it I don't really believe you need much more than this obviously we got to make sure the bundle bear shows up so we'll make sure after saving everything it does but from here we just have some reviews this is it you really don't need much more than this outside of having some UGC images, some video testimonials, some more social proof, maybe one more layer of social proof in the middle of here. If you have access to that, I will admit I did some research before this video. 
there's not really great photo reviews or video reviews. There's not a lot of content for this product, which is good and bad. Bad in the fact that it's going to make it tougher to advertise, but good in the fact that, okay, our competitors can't really beat us in any way. So while that's doing its thing, let's go to our footer menu and start customizing that just a tad. I don't really need an image. I usually will just do my two menu links and then subscribe to our emails is also something I don't really do. So again, do another menu like this. We have our quick links. Usually the first one, that's going to be our main menu. So I have two menus that I always do, footer menu, main menu. And then finally, I'm also going to, let's just change that to main menu. And then finally, I will do a little text block on the right where I put in my information about my company. So we're just going to drop that on in and then we're going to do contact us. And then do we want to make this beige? Do we want to make this black? Let's just see how it looks inverse. Ooh. That's sexy. Can't lie. Okay, cool. We are basically done here. I don't think we need much more. Again, we could add some final little touches, but this is a great template for any non-problem solving product that you sell. And definitely keep note with the review section. This is going to be big. I do handle a lot of objections using my review section. So you can see here, super cute design, worth the price, great quality. I do mention the name of the brand too. So little things like that will make a difference in handling objections and improving your conversion rate so make sure to put in that extra mile when you are doing your reviews at least for the first page of review so for me i'm gonna have around eight that show up so the top eight i'm usually gonna edit with lai so if you go to lai just real quick so the final thing i did is i did edit the reviews a little bit to handle those main objections for the stella so the quality all of that is covered in here shipping times being fast all of that so it's really good with lai that you can customize reviews and you may be thinking ethan that's incredibly legitimate of you. How could you do something like that? Everyone knows all reviews on the internet are totally legit. Nobody ever fakes reviews. Top brands don't do that. And it's time for you to grow up. Santa Claus isn't real, buddy. It's time for you to take that cloth over your eyes and realize if you want to be a big dog, sometimes you got to get your hands a little dirty. But for the sake of this video, and if the FBI is watching me, this is a complete educational purpose type store, and I would never, ever test a product this way. All right, so let's start working on the description for the Viber Lukes. This is going to be a big one here. So we're going to need a good headline. I have 10 right here. So I believe out of all of these, cut drawing time in half, say goodbye to Frizz. Yes, I do like that one a lot. So let's just move that one on over. And we are going to make this a heading one. Yep, that looks nice. And I'm going to get rid of everything else down here. We're not going to need it. And typically, after the first headline, I do like to have a GIF. So I did find some GIFs already out there for my product. Again, I might make my own using custom images, but we're going to grab that on in. We're going to move that over. And then when it comes to my descriptions with problem solving products, I always start with the problem. So for ChatGPT, they came up with, hey, most tools you spend hours with with lackluster results. That's decent but I'm going to need to expand upon it just a tad to really drive it home that this is a huge issue or you are paying for tons of other solutions that don't get you the same results that we can get. That's going to be the main crux of this, convincing people their other alternatives suck. Alrighty, so after doing some brainstorming and turning on my copywriting brain, I came up with this. So let's face it, you're tired of paying hundreds for salon appointments. Again, you can read all this. It's pretty good stuff. What can I say? I'm a little bit of a poet myself. Now, I do want to have a before and after image. Again, I grabbed this from one of our competitors too. I can make my own a bit later on, but just for the sake of placeholders, we'll have something like this. And then for the second and third part of the description, now it's up to you if you want to have three parts, but it's all about what are the other things you haven't talked about. So usually we're going to have a second headline. So, okay, if we didn't talk about the drying time, okay, cool. Let's have a section about that. And then third, we could see here if there's another headline that we possibly add. So for that second section, what do we have here? So cut drying time in half. That's not bad. Let's go with something like that. So this is just using our chat GBT. So that'll be a good placeholder. And then finally, I do want to have one more GIF of someone using the product. So we have this girl right here. We are going to center align that. And then for our third section, what do we got here? And then again, we could look at some of our competitors, see what they were doing for their description. So Leafin, I'm not going to lie. They don't have a lot in their description. Not too great, but this competitor, I will admit they had a lot of good lines I liked. So yeah, 98%. Oof, this looks so sexy. Look at this. I can't lie. All right, so we might take some copy from them. Oh my goodness gracious, this is an endless abyss. How many images are in here? Jeez Louise. Okay, cool. So right here, we have our final little section. Again, it's only based on how many important things you want to highlight. If you only have two big selling points, then cool. Just only have two sections in your description. Don't have a third one. But for me, I do believe this is going to be a unique selling point. So we are just going to play around with the spacing a little bit. I'm going to do that a little bit later, but we have our description ready to go. Alrighty. So getting into it, we got our description here looking nice and neat. Now we are going to have to have a comparison chart. 100%. That's going to be the big thing comparing us to big brands. So again, with Shrine, they do have a pretty decent comparison table. You can see right here, you can customize the rows and with chat GPT, I did have a few examples that we can use for the comparison. So drying time, all this. 
I do want to go a step further, though, because I really need to beat Dinkelberg. So what I'm going to do is actually buy a custom comparison table. So there's many, obviously, already out there. For me, the one I, I believe I already went with, if we go to add a new section here at the bottom and scroll on down. So they have many sections. Go through the sections app, honestly, and choose the one you like the most. Again, this is just the one that I personally prefer, but there's great ones already out there. So if we go here, product comparison table like that, and I believe with this one, it natively will actually go under the add to cart button, which isn't my favorite thing in the world. I do believe there's some custom code I can do to get rid of it. But the reason why I like this comparison table is because that price, that's going to be the big thing I'm competing on. Our price is going to be hundreds of dollars cheaper than the other options. So we're obviously going to highlight that and then talk about a few other benefits and how we're better so we can really drive home why we are the best option because that's going to be what it takes. But before we do all that, in terms of actually laying out how our description is going to look, so we have results here. We could have that. Again, play around some products. Definitely results makes a lot of sense, like health products where you know you do need surveys. I don't think we really necessarily need that for this product. So if we go down, I do want to have another layer of social proof. So we could either do video testimonials, product reviews. I'm going to go with video testimonials. That's going to be the best form of social proof by far. And there is some good videos for this product. So let's just move that one on up right under our description. That should be the first thing people see. So they see our description, then they see some video reviews. Then I did see, and this is only something you're going to find out by reading reviews, that one of the biggest objections people have is how do you actually use your product? People aren't the smartest in the world. And these products can be a little bit confusing. So for a section like that, I probably want to have like a left to right, here's how to use instead of up to down because we want to obviously maximize our space. So what I believe would be best is actually, yeah, this multi-column here. So we could do step one, step two, step three, and then we can also add an image. So it makes it really, really easy for people to understand. So let's just customize that. And for my own knowledge, we'll do how to use and then do we need anything else i mean this is going to be really detailed so we got the comparison chart social proof how to use faq obviously we're going to have our own review section as well i would say final thing is obviously we're going to need the uh, risk reversal so money back guarantees so for that we would just add a quick little image with text we could do that i just want to get like a little text block so yeah we'll do rich text like that and put it right above our FAQ and all of that. So adding some text in here, we'll do try it risk free. And then we have 90 day money back guarantee, really simple name of the product. We don't need a button label. Okay, so once we have the review section, is there anything else? I mean, social proof is really big with these types of products. You have to really layer and hammer it on, in my opinion, especially if we're going to beat Dinkelberg. So I do think, and just because I bought so many sections, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be a little bit more thorough than you really need for most problem solving products, but I really want to show you guys all the cool things you can do. So we're also going to do, let's see, we have testimonial. I, I think I want to go with the trust pilot option here. So we're going to go trust pilot. So that's going to be testimonial number eight, and we are going to do that a little bit higher. And then finally, we're going to have our product review section. So dragging that on up, we're going to drive that right after our little trust pilot section here. So yeah, there we go. So FAQ, social proof, social proof, risk reversal, how to use more social proof. We have social proof in the description. We're going to have social proof in the product images, but before and afters. And we have social proof with a quote. I mean, there is so much social proof as seen in Vogue. Oh my goodness, it is going to be very hard for people not to think we're a legitimate brand after doing all this. Now, do you have to go to this level? No, but if you're built different, yes. Okay, so playing around with the FAQ section, I did get some example questions from ChatGBT, as you can see right here. And then I also went to some of my competitors and copied over the text. So can I use it on wet hair? And really easy, you just click on this, that's the heading. And then when people open it, this will be the answer in the row content if you don't know how to do that, super easy. So we're handling some good objections already there. Uh, try risk free, we have done. And then we did add a loved by over 10,000 customers heading. And I did end up changing the background because I wanted to just have a little bit of contrast. So if you scroll on down, I know there's so many different options i know it's crazy uh but this would be the section background right here so that's just what i did and now i do need to find some videos so we're going to go inside a cap cut and all we really need to do new project just edit a few different videos and cut them down to a few seconds like five to ten seconds and then we'll add our logo to them all right cool so we got our logo here so let's just say this would be an example video of our product so we would just minimize this to around five seconds eight seconds I do get rid of all audio. I'm not a big fan of that. And then I'm just going to put this most likely top left corner. So we're just going to paste it right there. And then from here, we just export it from CapCut. And then we would add it into our review section there. So it's going to look really, really nice. 
let me play around and get a few videos done. Okie dokie. So we got a few here and I did decide to customize the colors a bit more. So I added some more of the beige color that we got going on. So again, if we scroll down here, I, mean, I did beige on our button play color. I made a few more things black because I do believe natively it doesn't come like this. But yeah, really simple. Just had a few good clips, five seconds, eight seconds. I'll just play one real quick. No audio going on because God knows I need to make my money. We're not doing any copyright music. We're not playing no games here, but that looks super, super good. So just scrolling all the way back up. Yeah, we just really need to play around with these images. Images are not looking sexy. And then I did play around a bit more with our comparison chart. So we have Dyson and Revlon. So ours right now, I do need to make sure all of these are corresponding, but I did add all of our little yeah sections here on the left so i need to get rid of that row heading so let me just go down here we play around a bit more so row heading number two we're gonna get rid of like that and let's scroll back up i know sometimes it just is a little bit glitchy all right so we're just gonna play around the design a little bit we have a check mark emoji here that we are just gonna use for now okay so it looks good cooling made for all hair types easy use yeah for cooling that's kind of a little bit lame so we're gonna get rid of that one we'll just keep it nice short and simple i might play around a little more easy to use i'll just do for mine the other ones look good 90 day warranty uh let's just do an x for the other ones and if you're wondering how i added the names of the other brands if you go to product comparison and then we scroll down this right side again this is a huge thing i know but if we scroll down you can see second heading third heading that's where we add the name of the brands now finally i did play around a little bit with the heading sizes because sometimes it can be really condensed and short because yeah it's fitting a lot of information here uh, but i do want to change this 830 and then the 470 or 4.7 out of 5. If we scroll on down here's that 830 so realistically we'll just say save uh whatever the amount would be on the original dyson so if we do some quick math in my head what is that 360 it looks like 360 maybe i'm right maybe i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong but if i'm right you have to leave a like on this video and then right here we got 4.7 out of 5 i'm going to change that to 4.9 out of 5. okay cool so we are getting there guys honestly I, I will admit the text looks a little weird with this description sometimes you actually have to take the text from product description in shopify and put it into like a word doc and that way it all look nice but i can't believe how much progress we've made so far now uh the variant picker we do need to get rid of that i'm just gonna add our ka-ching bundle which actually has been added so maybe it's just glitching a little bit sometimes that happens where you have to talk to their support but i'm just gonna make sure i've assigned it to the right product real quick so i did want to show you a few other ways you can show social proof besides the one we've already covered in this video which i know is a lot so there's 14 different ways that i've identified personally and that list will keep adding on so if you are a student of mine either in my course or in my coaching you'll have access to that but for this video let's just show you the top five that i really like so collage of comments this is bleem style so if you don't have any good photo reviews which yeah for my stella that could be an option here where we make some text reviews collage of images if you do have some good reviews and then we have either before and after in a carousel format we could do trusted by thousands so this is two different ways we could do a just left to right accordion style with our reviews and then we had the classic fake tweet so this would be using tweetgen.com where you just add some images from your customers add some text and you'd be good to go or a highlighted customer review quote so that is something we've already done if you want to see more all you have to do sign up for my course or sign up for my coaching because stop being a cheapo all right so let's tackle that how to use section so i went on to amazon and i saw a similar product and basically they all work the same so i'm just going to grab this on over shorten it down to three steps and that's what we're going to use for our three step how to use so i got prep style and rotate choose the proper brush for desired style plug the thermalux in and it does all of the rest for you so that's looking nice and neat and i also grabbed a few texts from the review section of that listing since again it's going to be very similar all the benefits are going to be the same so we added that to our trust pilot section and i only did four reviews but as you can see they do repeat themselves so it looks like they're new but this just looks so freaking beautiful so on the left side here you can see you have to add a heading add the text add the name good to go and then in the review section with lai i did import one of the links so you know for lai we all know what to do just grab the link click on import grab amazon select our product so in this case it's our vibra Lux. so just to show you guys real quick in case you guys already forgot how to do this then you would upload click the quantity import and then from there you can go over to your product section you can see all the reviews that you imported for your product and then you can start playing around with them seeing which ones that you actually want to add to your product page so for us right now there was 20 that was really really solid i may have to choose which ones i want to prioritize because some of them do have pictures that look really good and these are on the bottom so for those ones definitely want to pin those up so to actually pin a review let's just go to an example so we're going to click source has photo so let's just say this one for instance and then we are going to click on pin top right corner for that one 
And then we wanted to grab that other one as well, pin that to the top. Cause yeah, those are gonna be our best reviews. Those are definitely gonna be the reviews that convince our customers that we have a product that definitely works and is worth the price. So we handle a lot of objections in the review section. That's the key thing to note because really with this product, the main objection was, does it actually work? Is it high quality enough? Because most people have the perception you have to spend hundreds on a good hair dryer for it to actually deliver great results. But for us, we have tons of reviews that say, hey, I originally wanted the Dyson. Well, I wanted the other one, the Revlon, but this one worked exactly the same way, but for a fraction of the cost. That is the big selling point. Exact same results for a fraction of the cost. So that's what we're hitting. And we're handling a lot of different objections with these reviews. That's why they're so detailed. And this is where you want to get with your reviews. So the final thing I'm really going to work on is those product images, because we do have some graphics that just don't look the best because our supplier is from China and they're not a graphic designer. So I like to use a tool called creative.os that has a ton of different templates for great graphics from top brands that you can copy and paste into Canva. As you can see right here, let's say you really like this graphic. All you would do is click use template for new design and bada bing bada boom you just import your product photo into here your trust badges whatever you want and you're good to go so for people that are autistic and don't have a creative bone in your body like myself it is seriously a cheat code now let's just edit a quick little hero image as well so i'm going to use this white marble background which is super easy to get honestly you can just look up photo room and do a generic ai background now i'm also going to slap in my as seen in vogue so we have some social proof here top right we're gonna make sure this marble covers the whole background then i'm gonna grab this image of my product i'm going to do the remove background feature with canva like that make it nice and big and we could do a few things here so i could add a image on the left of a customer and the desired transformation so that could definitely make this hero stand out a little more i'm also going to add a logo there's definitely a few things you can do but let's just play around a little okay so we're going to grab our logo make this nice and small just like that in the corner i would say from there with this template so this was one of them i really liked this star reviews that they did so i'm just going to grab that we are going to paste that here and just drag that on down that looks super sexy. I might just make it a little bit less because yeah, 25,000 is not the most believable in the world. So let's do 1,000. And then the final thing is I'm gonna grab this money back guarantee, do the same thing. We're gonna remove that background, 90 days, put that in the top left, make it nice and big as well. And that is a great hero image. I mean, that does a lot for us. It does social proof. It shows our image of the product and it has our warranty. So that risk reversal all in one main image. Now for our other graphics, I just played around with the templates I already had, added some benefits. So honestly, this kind of looks like a lightsaber. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling the power of the force right now, but we can see right here in terms of the headlines, I do Bebas and then for the benefits, I do Helvetica now. So if you wanna copy those, but super simple, super easy, nothing too complex. Same thing here, I just added a headline and then I did little dots to specific parts of my product that talk about what it does because this was a graphic from my supplier. So I just wanted to recreate it, make it look a little bit more professional. I know it's not the greatest in the world, it'll work. Dinkelberg doesn't stand a chance with these custom graphics, this custom description. I mean, oh my goodness, let us look at this final result. It is looking so good. So I did edit the review a little bit to make it just a tad shorter to the point. And then with our comparison table, I did change out the colors, which super simple. You just scroll down to the color section, but everything here. Oh my goodness, ladies and gents, I think we finally have our full product page ready to go. One last thing I did forget to mention is I do like to do the same aspect ratio for all my images. So in this case, I'm doing one by one or 1080 by 1080, which is basically the same width, same height for every single image. So it's all coherent. So I would just do that as a tiny little thing that makes everything look just a tad more professional. Now, outside of that, really what I would do at this point is test the speed score. I would wanna see how we're performing there, make sure we're under four seconds. And if it is not there, that is going to be something that definitely impacts our conversion rate. So I'd wanna get a speed expert I would want to use a tool like Flash Page Speed Optimizer to make sure everything is coherent and people are not dropping off from my page, especially when you put that much work into it. And then, of course, if everything looks good on the speed score, I would do my AB convert, set up a redirect split test between my two product pages for each product to see which offer does better. But if you want a whole video about how I do my offers and the full setup, then like, comment down below, and I will make that happen for you.